Alright, it's time for another episode of Cool Dude Clem's Electronic Workshop. Welcome to Cool Dude Clem's Electronic Workshop with me, your host, Cool Dude Clem. Yeah, I know it's been a long time since I did an episode, but, you know, I've been busy with my animations and stuff and just haven't really had time for one of these. Anyway, in today's experiment, I'm going to do more vacuum tube experiments. What I'm going to attempt to do is make a flyback driver. See what we can get out of one of these with one of these. Let's just briefly go through the setup we got here. This is the high voltage part of the power supply, which will give about 300 volts or whatever. It's going to be something around that. Here's the actual valve that's going to be doing the work. These two are nothing to do with it, they're for a future video. I'm going to let you continue to guess what that's going to be. Positive voltage goes out here into this little transformer that I've made, then into the anode, through the, vol um, through the valve, into the cathode and back to the ground. And this resistor here is just providing whatever volts for the screen grid. I've got the suppressor grid connected to the cathode, and as I mentioned before, the cathode is connected to the ground. And there's actually two coils on this thing. We've got the primary with this capacitor across it, so we've got a nice tank circuit. And then there's a feedback coil. One end is connected to the ground. Actually, it's this end, this wire here that's connected to the ground. And the other end of the feedback goes through here, into this capacitor and resistor, and into the grid of the valve. And I've also got about one, maybe one and a half turns of wire right here, and that goes to the oscilloscope, so we can see a waveform if this circuit oscillates, which it should do. And here is the schematic for those of you interested. It was a bit confusing at first, because all of this seems to be, uh, I don't know what language that is, I think that might be Russian or something, but most of it makes sense, but I don't know what A whatever that is means. I assume it means nanoferrets. I don't know. Anyway, I couldn't build the voltage doubler because I don't have high enough rating capacitors for that. Used a different valve. This one uses a 6245C. I used a PL509. And I put a 10K resistor here instead of a 3K. This bit round here is about the and yes, I've repaired my oscilloscope because a lot of the times I wasn't getting a trace on the screen, but now it works just fine. Well, it will do when it warms up. Speaking of warming up, I forgot to mention how I've got the filament of this valve connected. I've just simply got that connected to my regulator power supply because I can get a nice required 40 volts from that, so... I'll turn that on. I know it says it's only connected to 20 volts. But that's 20 volts between the negative and the ground, and 20 volts between the positive and the ground, and I've got, got that connected between the positive and the negative, so we get twice what I've got there. And now, we'll plug this in, and we'll see the circuit oscillating. And there we go. we got a nice oscillation right there. As usual, my camera's making the slope look very faint, but trust me, that is quite visible. Oh, I should mention, ignore this transformer, that's not doing anything. That's just left over from the previous setup. But from that half turn, one and a half turns or so, we are getting about 18 volts peak to peak at about 34 kilohertz. We know this works. So the next step connect up a flyback and let's see what we get. I've got the tube all nicely warmed up and make sure I've got everything, made sure I've got the primary and the feedback so they're not out of phase. So we'll turn this on. Uh, ran out of enameled wire so uh, the primary is still enameled wire but the feedback is just ordinary wire. So I've got about 60 turns for the primary and about 30 turns for the secondary. Actually, maybe just a little bit more over 30 turns. But, I'm going 
going to plug this in and let's see what kind of output we get. You can see a bit of corona. And there we straight. And they look very small. Just unplugged it. Just making sure this is nice and shorted out now, because we don't want any. I don't want to pick this up sometime later and then zap myself on it. That's about as good of an arc as I can get out of this flyback from just about any driver I've tried, including the 555 driver. The only one that's given me better output with this particular flyback is the ZVS. Bright white arcs, which you've seen in some videos before. Un unfortunately, this is the only flyback I have now that still works. I've killed most of the other ones. As a matter of fact, this one here, I pulled the high voltage pin out. Didn't mean to do that. Of course, the camera will focus on it. I noticed the wire was wobbling about, so I thought I'd just pull that wire off, solder a new wire on. And no, it was the pin that was wobbling about. When I tried to pull the wire off, I pulled the entire pin out, and so that would have worked better on this flyback actually, but uh, a tube or valve flyback driver. Now I would have run this on a higher voltage, except I don't have the caps for the voltage doubler. Speaking of capacitors, I would probably blow these ones out as well. Next time, doing something with these.